let's solve this problem 320 and this problem it is said they determine the reactions at A and E if P is 500 Newton right. So in the first part we are required to find the reactions at A and E if P is 500 Newton right. So if this P is 500 Newton so we are required to find the reactions at A and E and it is said that what is the maximum value which P may have for static equilibrium. So we need to find P max and it is said that neglect the weight of the structure compared with the applied loads. So is this is a pin joint and this is a roller joint so at roller joint we will have one reaction and that reaction will be in the let us say in the positive x direction right. So this is our assumption let us say that this is the direction of the reaction at E and let us say that this is E x. Similarly at this pin joint there will be two reaction one reaction will be in this direction let us say that this is A x and there will be one another reaction at this point and that will be acting vertically downward. So let us say that this is, so let us say that this reaction is A y reaction right. So if we apply the summation of moment at point A equals to 0, so the summation of moment at point A equals to 0, so then these two reactions will not produce any moment about this point A right. So we have eliminated these two by using this condition. And let us say that the counterclockwise moment is positive, right. So, uh, so this E x is producing counterclockwise moment about this point A. So, I will write plus and E x and the perpendicular distance of this E x from that point A is this 3 meters. So, I will write 3 into E x. Similarly, if, if I resolve this force into its components, right. So, there will be one component in this direction, right. So, we will have one component like this and there will be one another component and this component will be in this direction right. So this one, this one is the cos component right. So I will write that this is 4000 cos of 30 degrees and this one is the sine component. So it is 4000 sine of 30 degrees. So this cos component is all is producing clockwise moment about this point A right. So we will write minus 4000 cos of 30 degrees and the perpendicular distance of this cos component from this point A is this 4 meters right. So we will multiply this with 4 and similarly this P is producing counterclockwise moment about this point A. So we will write plus and this will be P and the perpendicular distance of this P from this point A is 4 plus 4. So this is 8 right. So I will write 8. So this is equal to 0. So if you want to find E x, so E x is equal to, so this will become positive, so we will write plus and 4000 into 4, so it will be 16000 cos of 30 degrees and this is minus 8 p, right, so minus 8 and p is 500, it is given, right, for this case. So we can find E x using this equation, so let me find. Uh, this is 3 E x right. So we have to write 3 E x and 3 E x comes out to be that is 9856, 9856.4 and if I divide it by 3. So then this comes out to be E x is 3285 Newtons right. So this is E x. So now to find the reactions at this point A, so if we add the, if we apply this condition of equilibrium that the summation of forces along x equals to 0. So now as we can see that this component is acting along the negative x and this x is uh, acting along positive and let us say that this is our positive direction right. So I will write A x plus this E x, E x is in the positive direction and we know the E x magnitude. So that is 3285 right and minus this sine component right. So this will be 4000 sine of 30 degrees and this will be equal to 0. So x will be equal to this will be 4000 sine of 30 degrees minus 3285.
So, a x comes out to be minus 1285 Newton, right? So, this minus sign means that a x is acting in the negative x direction, right? So, the assumed direction is not accurate. So, this is at a x and similarly to find a y if we apply this summation of forces along y equals to 0, right? And if this is our positive direction, so we can write that minus a y, a y is in the negative y direction. Similarly, this cos component is in the negative y, so we will write minus 4000 cos of 30 degrees and then we will add this one, this is in the positive y direction, right? So, we will write plus 500 equal to 0 and if we bring this a y to this side, so this will become positive, so we can write plus a y, right? So, if we solve this, so we will get a y. So, a y comes out to be minus 2964 Newtons, right? So, the direction of a y is also in the positive y direction, right? So, we have to reverse the direction of both of these components, right? a y and an x. Similarly, in the second part, we are asked to find the maximum value which p may have for static equilibrium, right? So, if we use this equation, let's say that this is equation 1. So, by using this equation 1, we can write the equation for p, right? So, p 8 p from this equation will be equal to 4000 cos of 30 degrees into 4 and this will be minus 3 e x and if we divide both sides by 8, so we will get this equation, right? So, p will be maximum if the numerator of this fraction is greater, right? So, since since this is constant, right? This is variable, we can control this, right? Let's say that this E x is 0. So, if this E x is 0, so then this numerator will be maximum. And if this numerator is maximum, so at that point P will be maximum, right? So, the, if, if the reaction at E is 0, right? So, we will have P maximum, right? So, P we can write that p maximum is equal to 4000 cos of 30 degrees into 4 divided by 8. So, if we solve this, so we will get p max. So, p max comes out to be 1732 newtons, right? So, this is that p max.